I love story mm. and I want to know how did you find, how did you locate this property? What was the story on this one? Uh, an agent in our network brought it to us. Uh, great resource for finding clips by the way. Real estate agents typically know when properties are kind of lurking in the background or moving around without actually hitting the marketplace. Which is, this, this is one. Yeah. Yeah, Which, this is exactly why. Relationships and networking is what you're also saying. Correct. Yeah, make sure that you're good to your partners. Uh, obviously, the agent is going to be compensated very handsomely for bringing it to us. We're given a, an opportunity to relist or re-rent them out for us. This one, we already have a renter in place. Uh, we'll probably wind up throwing her a couple extra bucks just to you know, say thank you for helping us out here. The reason it came to us, there's an underground oil tank in the front yard, uh, in the driveway here. And the sellers were really against bringing it to market because they knew this is a very tough sell. Um, getting a hold of a, an underground oil tank is not anybody's like top of their wish list. Um, this particular one we know is in service, it's working, it's currently feeding a working boiler. If it was compromised, if it was leaking, chances are it wouldn't be working. There'd be no heat in the house, okay? So, uh, clue number two that we're, we're safe here, there's an insurance policy from the actual oil supplier saying, if this tank comes out of the ground and it's compromised, we're gonna pay for the remediation after you pay for your deductible. So while it does scare your average homeowner, you know, mom, dad, and two kids that want to buy a house, they'll pass on something like this. A lot of uh, a lot of investors avoid these things too. They'll stay away from them. I don't particularly care. It's it's calculated risk. You make your offer in comparison to what kind of risk you're taking on. We threw a number out there. It was higher than the other offers that they had heard. Uh, they jumped on ours. Not a lot of negotiating. So I think I had the other competitors beat probably by a country mile. And we still have a ton of room on it. So we're completely fine taking this thing on. It's working. We're going to keep the policy going. When it's time to switch that boiler in the basement, when it finally dies, we're going to switch over to natural gas. We already have a quote, $15,000, gets rid of the tank, fixes the base, uh, fixes the driveway, gets the gas run to the street, and gets us a brand new boiler, 15K all in. Not bad. Awesome. I'll take that every day. You ready to take a look? Go see? Let's, go, let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's take a look. Her.
Pittsburgh. We are here at the second property on this tour today. Correct. This property is mid-construction, so this is a much different property and layout than it was at the first one that yeah. we were looking at. A lot this, further along. This is here in Hamilton, New Jersey. Scenic, historic now, Hamilton. We're here at 2018 South Clinton Avenue. You got it. Hamilton. So tell me a little bit about this property. We're mid-construction, it looks like everything's been torn out. Yep. It's clear. We're, we're mid-construction right now. We are still actually waiting to get power turned back on. It's a little bit of a delay. We're about three weeks behind on where we need to be. Uh, we got this moment to house fire. Uh, there was a small fire in the basement that got up to the second floor, got in the kitchen, uh, didn't damage the house next door. The fire company caught it immediately. Like within eight minutes, the fire was out. It was a one alarm, one and done. When you are buying fire damaged property, the uh, fire departments have a tendency to cut the power from the street so that as they're flooding the home with water, they're not creating another issue. Uh, getting the power turned back on, we're dealing with a little bit of a logistical problem. Getting to the township, getting to PSENG, getting them with us on our schedule. It's a lot of moving parts. Uh, we are working with backup generators to get our stuff in here, but we are fully demolished. We're stripped. Uh, basement is coming along. We're dry locking that right now. And as you can see, we're already skin coating and evening out the walls. This is a 1905 colonial. Um, a lot, a lot, well, there's a lot of history here. There's a lot of little nuances to how you have to fix these things. This is not an easy job. These are all the old original plaster walls. We were dealing with some electrical issues that we've been chasing around. So yeah, so we've been dealing with some issues chasing like little things around, uh, but we've done this before. It's not our first choice, but uh, we got this property uh, by reaching out to the homeowner directly. Uh, we run cash off our websites, yeah. you know, cash your house, things like that, buying in any condition. Uh, the person, the owner, uh, reached out to us and said they were interested in hearing an offer. Uh, we come into the home, there was multiple bids on the property. We beat everybody else out. Uh, because the homeowner, uh, it's, it's a little bit of a sad story, the, the house fire occurred, she was cut a check from the insurance company. She goes out, she finds a contract, and the guy skates with her deposit. Walks around, yeah, walks away with tens of thousands of dollars. She can no longer fix her home, which made her have to market the house, and get people in here a little willing to take the work on. So she made us an offer. Um, she'll sell us the house and she'll buy it back from us at our market value. So we already have our buyer lined up here. And we are going to be selling it to her a little bit under the market value because we're no longer taking on uh, the same carrying costs and we're not having any commission going in the direction at this point. So we're going to pass the savings along back to the homeowner. She wants to come back home. She loved the house. She's been here for many, many years. She didn't want to part with it. And you know, we're just having a time to talk about it. Look at that. I do smell the smokiness, by the way. Yes. So, I was trying to figure out. You, you do, you do pick up. Yeah, yeah. So we do have like the kitchen right now, even though we're, we're gutted, the kitchen has an open floor in it from where you know, the, the boiler fire started and it got off through the kitchen completely done. So it is a little bit dangerous of a work spot. There are some uh, uh, issues on the second floor as well. Uh, some of the electric did get fried, things like that. So there's, you know, for the most part, relatively easy work. We had $70,000 budget. That's roof, that's windows, that's floor, that's a new kitchen, that's a new bathroom. And we're going to redo the cosmetics on the second and the first floor as well. So we got it all fit in for about 70k, and now we should be out of here for about a month and a half, two months. And you bought it for 100? Not for 100. You got 1,000. The ARV, where's the ARV going to come in at? Uh, I think on the market it's worth 275, and I think you would probably be able to bid up. We're giving it to her back to the homeowner for 260. Again, we have no holding, we have no marketing, we have no commission coming out. We'll pass the savings on. Uh, we're into it, I think, by the time we're done with debt servicing and holding, we're into it for around 100. I'm sorry, about 100 on top of 100. So we're probably a little over 200. So by the time we're done with 260, we have a $60,000 window. We pay our capital gains. We're okay. We're in and out of here four months, pay forty fifty thousand dollars We move to the next project. What I love about this property is the fact that you have taken a fire damage home, yep. something, a place where someone lives. Yep. You're gonna now help her out, yep. help the family out, get them back in there, get them their property back, you are gonna make a little money. Yep. We're able to provide, and this is what we provided 90% of yep. the property. So your purchase price is 100, but we have a little over 65, 70, it's about 170, and we're giving you 90% of it, you're gonna do the work. You're gonna now return this home back yep. to the owner. The owner. Yep. You make money, we make money. She's happy. She's happy. She gets her house back. I think that is so powerful and impactful. The fact that real estate allows us to do 
uh, every now and again you get the good guys hit a win, and uh, you know it's a, it's a sad circumstance. You know somebody skiing with you know basically her insurance trap. She could have fixed the house on her own. I understand that. That's great, but there's unscrupulous uh, contractors out there. I've seen them. I've worked with them, uh, and you know put her in a bad spot. And the, the whole reason we got the project was we were the only one that made a bid that said, hey, we'll sell you the house back. Every single other house flipper will buy a holder, because this does line up really well for a rental too. Nobody wanted to give the house back for it. So, so this truly is another make it count property. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Love it! All right, everyone. We're here, Kurt. This Last is stop. this is the number three today. The reveal. The yeah. it's the most exciting stage in any transaction. Whenever you sure. buy the home, you know, midway through, those are exciting because you get to see the transformation as it slowly progresses. Yeah. But this, seeing the property in its finished condition, yeah. seeing what you started off the property with, and now what it looks like now, it's exciting. Yeah. This property, we're here in Tom's River, New Jersey, sought after area. Um, Five minutes it. to the beach, ten minutes to the beach. We had a really low tax price. Uh, we're going to set the market when we sell this for three bedroom ranches in the area. We have a super cool saltwater in ground pool in the back. Uh, everything is new start to finish. This is another property that we got from another real estate agent inside of our network. Again, uh, brought us a deal. Wasn't going to make it to the marketplace. Uh, when we got a hold of it, it was a hoarder situation, smelled like cigars, not ready to go to market. The pool uh, was basically filled with flat sludge it was not going to get sold on market for top dollar. So me and a couple other investors, we took a swing at it. Uh, the guy that we were working with gave us, you know, kind of where we needed to be on price. Um, but yeah, we, we got this again from basically just, you know, being nice to real estate agents. I'm a real estate agent. I handle my own disposition. So this isn't the last stage for me. I still have to actually sell the house, but I'm done with construction probably in the next day or two. Right now yeah. we're doing the blue tape walkthrough. We're just hitting the fine finishes. Uh, we'll have photos done on Friday, mm -hmm. and we'll be on the market by Wednesday. We'll be doing our open houses next weekend, and we should have uh, an offer in hand by not this Monday coming, the Monday after that, and then 45 days to closing, if I'm lucky. Gorgeous pool. Saltwater pool. We have a tiki bar. Pool. We took the you shed. Privacy right here with the bamboo. Yeah. You got a beautiful shed that That's, now is. No, a... it's a tiki bar. It was a shed for a lawnmower and a snowblower. We we went in there, we finished it off. It's now finished space. It's shiplap. It's got a bar inside. Uh, it's got all weather tile. It is a that's a tiki bar. You wanna check it out? You wanna yeah. see the tiki bar? Come on! Let's go. Follow Weber. It's more energetic than I am. Yeah, so this is the only part of the house we're actually gonna stage. We're gonna do some neons. We're gonna drop some tiki-related stuff around here. We're gonna make it look cool. Uh, but yeah, this, like I said, this was a boring shed for, uh, I don't know, your, your lawnmower and your snowblower and all your pool junk. And uh, we turned it into a tiki bar. And uh, I think, uh, I think the, the market will respond by seeing a, a, this unique little piece of uh, customization. This is big. Pretty cool, right? And a property like this, yeah. it's the thing that sometimes you'll get a buyer we just stand because out. they fall in love with this. Yep, makes it stand out, an extra added level of care, an extra added level of customization. Whenever we do these in projects, and not just tiki bars, but like those cool little add-ins, like the crowd goes wild. It really does. And it always lets us kind of set the market in whatever market we're in. And like, attention to detail. If you put some care into it, you'll get it right back out. See, he knows how to make it count. <laughs> Hi everyone, I am here with Jamie, Kurt's partner. Most times when you see a new construction, a fully renovated home, you see the finished product and you just assume, all right, this is a great property. But what I wanna show you is the attention to detail that what Jamie is actually doing right now as you walk through here, you see these blue pieces of tape. Jamie, why are you putting up these blue pieces of tape? So basically every project that we do when we get to completion where we are now, is we like to go around look at the fine details. So if you look at the floors over here, you can see that the quarter round is not exactly touching the floors. We want to make sure we address that because on a flipped property, we want people to know that we're paying attention to every little detail as if it's our own home. And if you see this right here, 
I mean, these are things that most people would not catch, but Jamie is all over it. And it just, it's not about just giving someone a great home. It's about doing it the right way. And you can see here, there's these little spaces, but what they're gonna do is they're gonna now caulk that, right? Exactly. exactly. See? Even when we think we're finished, there's still a little bit left and you know, it just shows detail matters.